Hello, welcome to this video. It's gonna be a shopping video. I didn't intend it to be when I went on this little mini trip, but I picked up enough stuff and I think I got enough clips of the stores I went to to make it a substantial video. So yes, we got some shopping and then at the end I'll have a haul of everything I bought. And without further ado, let's get into it. So yeah, I just went to Barnes & Noble and then I went to this really cool bookstore I found. It's called Bart's Books. It's in Ojai, California, which is like near Ventura, if you're familiar with the area. But essentially it was this old house that they had converted into a bookstore. And the inside of the house was like new books and then the outside was just shelves and shelves of used books. I couldn't get too many clips because it was very crowded, even though it was Saturday morning at like 9am. But I was able to pick up a few things at both locations. Starting with Barnes & Noble, I finally got a not busted copy of Walter Coy Volume 6. If you know, I've gotten two copies online of this, both in like less than favorable condition. So I finally was able to get one with no chip corners, no tears in the spine, and I'm really happy to have it. I actually recently read this volume and I will just say the series is perfect to me. I know it's not like technically perfect, but I really love the series. I highly, highly recommend it. One of my all-time favorites. And there's been like a spin-off kind of teased, but that was like a year ago with no news. So if we never get any more of the series, I'll be sad, but this ending was really good. I'm just obsessed with this world and these characters, so I'll take anything I can get is what I'm trying to say. Next, I got volume one of One Dance. This is a break dancing manga question mark, I'm pretty sure. I heard some good things about it and I want to support any like sports or sports adjacent series that come out because not much comes out in English and I want to let them know we want this. So that's why I picked it up. I know nothing about this series, but I really liked Welcome to the Ballroom, the anime. So if this is anything similar to that, I think I'll like it. And then next, another new thing I got to try, Sensei's Pious Lie. I heard about this from Prof Otaku, that it's really good, but really dark, has some heavy themes of sexual assault and rape, question mark, I think. So yes, I am interested to try this. I believe the author is Inyo Sano's wife, and I've only read Solonin. I thought it was okay, so we'll see. I got the first volume to try. They had volume two already, but I decided to just get the volume one to try it out. I've heard good things. And then lastly, from Barnes & Noble, not manga, but I got the Lore Olympus volume two exclusive Barnes & Noble cover. This just came out. I think volume three comes out in the winter of this year, but if you don't know what Lore Olympus is, it's a retelling of Hades and Persephone. I really like the art. You can read this for free on Webtoon, but they recently 
started putting out these really nice hardcover editions. I'm gonna get the normal one as well because I am obsessed with the series. But yeah, the trigger warnings are also included in the beginning of this book, like volume one. And that's what I got from Barnes & Noble. And then the next stack I got from Barnes Books. First, something a little unexpected. I got volume one of Vinland Saga. So I'm currently reading Planetess. I like it so far. It's by the same author. And I've always wanted to get into Vinland Saga, but my library has all the volumes except volume one. So I was like, should I just read it online? Should I start the anime? Should I just buy volume one and then read the rest from the library? I don't know. But I saw this used. It was like five bucks. So I decided to pick it up, try it out. And if I like it, I'll probably just read it from the library or maybe buy my own copies. Who knows? They're on sale on Red Stuff right now. But I figured I'd pick it up and try it out. Their used manga section was not very big, only about one shelf. But I was pleasantly surprised by their new manga selection. This barely fits in the screen because this thing is huge. Tony's manga said it was big, but I didn't realize how big this was. Like, I mean, this is the size of my hand compared to this. I have a pretty small hand, but yeah, this is Our Colors by Gengoro Tagabe. He is the author of My Brother's Husband. He is a gay mangaka and I want to read some more Own Voices works. And I saw this, it has just come out recently and I want to support like a small business. So even though this was, I think like $30, I decided to pick it up and try it out. I believe it's a story about a boy kind of coming out and living as a gay person in Japan, maybe similar to my brother's husband. They had a lot of like alternative manga at this store and I'm not super familiar with that admittedly. So I don't know if I passed up on some really good stuff. Let me know if you saw anything in there that is worth picking up, but excited to try out our colors. And then the last thing I got is a book, not manga, but this is one I've gotten heavily recommended to me whenever I asked for book recommendations and I saw it and I decided to pick it up. So yes, that is all I picked up. Kind of a small haul, but I know y'all like to see stores I go to. I try to include like a Barnes & Noble clip in my monthly hauls if I ever go. I don't shop in person very often though. It's like a once in a blue moon type thing. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. Stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.